Hello people, brothers and sisters in this. This is going to be my last video for a long, long, long time. So I'm gonna ask you to please share me any way you can and get this message out there. It is important. Now we the people, we the people, are from every walk of life awake in this. From your leading virologists to people on benefits. We have doctors, we have nurses, we have factory workers, builders, supermarket staff, bus drivers, lorry drivers. Every single walk of life, the demographic of people from all ages, all races, that have worked out the system is so evil and so corrupt to its core that we are left just clinging to hope of anything that, that comes our way. We're bombarded by the propaganda and us that switch off are also bombarded with the propaganda. Our propaganda is the, the fear porn, the what's coming next, the Marburg virus, this virus, that virus, it's in this vaccine, this stage of lockdown, that stage of lockdown, the whole list is endless. The way we navigate this, some days we're up, some days we're down, we're arguing with partners, parents, you name it, it is happening en masse. There's people who follow certain groups hopelessly and we are programmed by by the mean by the people who own the little box in our homes and and the movies and everything that come out of places like fucking Hollywood and all these other fucking satanic destinations owned by them owned by them we are programmed by as kids from raising up for superheroes, the Superman, the Batmans, the Spidermans, the Mutant Ninja Turtles and all these other Star Wars and all these other different things what people are into, the Harry Potters. It's never ending. The systematic, the systematic program that they've put in place is basically to teach us and get into our brains, needle in that, we wait for an hero that someone will swoop out of nowhere and end this. I'm looking at you in the face here. There is no superheroes. Sad is what it is. You. Are the superhero in your story. You need to understand this. And fast. Cannot explain or express this enough. You are the superhero in your story. Them kids, if you've got them, that are under your roof, need you as a mum and as a dad to step the fuck up and fast. Now I've done my bit, my part, played my role. Not the role I wanted to play. The role I wanted to play in this was to me, a lot of men, who are ready for that next step to remove the corruption 
and lay it all on the line. And we are just not at that, we're not at that catalyst yet. And it's imperative, it's so important that we as a people understand and you as an individual stand up and roar like the lion and lioness you are. Now I came into this because I've got a little girl who I adore, a wife who I adore. People around me, I realised that the war, it were a slope. It were a steam slope. And I went in in the background, never ever filmed myself before, never ever put my face out before, never spoken to a camera before, despite what the others say. This police officer forward slash actor in front of the camera here. But believe it or not, just a fucking bricklayer. A normal guy. Who cares about the future our kids have? Now I've met a lot of people in this. All walks of life, I've been all over this country. Amazing people, scared people. Been a lot of tears, a lot of heartache. A lot of people think you can solve the the most minutest problem and you try and answer everybody and you, you find yourself drowning. I've found myself drowning many times in this. Found myself becoming a victim to the fear porn and the propaganda that's on our side. The not knowing, the unknown. You feel like you feel like that wool on a piece of string and then they're just playing with you, these fucking cats that surround us. But the moment you guys and we as a collective people realise that we all have a role to play in this. The moment you guys sat at the other side of this camera watching this realises that sat in a park or having a stand in the park meeting and it's and it's a good get together, it's a jolly and, and you meet in a pub and it turns into a curry evening and stuff like this. And I'm not gonna knock the the, the moral side of it, the the up picking, they've been around your people. There's a lot of people in this what talk about the positive vibrations and the change the frequency and the manifestation. I've met the all walks of life in this. And I'm an open minded guy. I'm not nana minded one bit, you know what I mean? I've This has turned me to believe that we have a creator. And I believe it truly one million percent. There's things I believe now that I would never, ever, ever have even entertained a couple of year ago. And I would awake a couple of years ago, but not to the extent I am now. The rabbit hole is deep and you jump in that rabbit hole and fucking hell, you're going to drop out bottom. Wherever the bottom is, I'm still falling down it. Now I went to a meeting in, uh, what a meeting, it was a group of people that got together, I got asked to come to a common law talk in Halifax and actually talk. And I'm far from equipped in this area, so I've got a guy who I trust and love like a brother who I met in this, and we took him along hoping that he'd get a speech out, and it turns out on a speech, it was a, a get together in the top of the pub of people, all walks of life again from every demographic. And these people were talking about what they were going to do to overcome this and how they were going to do it. And, and it was a, a great endeavour and and the thing they were doing, the way they were talking. And I had a realisation. The realisation was that that's how it used to be. The system has made us so fucking reliant on them. The evil nature that they are that we have forgot what it was to be sovereign, what it was to be in our own towns, in our own communities, changing things and doing things to bet for the better as a collective. They're meeting in a pub because these bastards have criminally converted their town hall. And it is our duty as a people 
to get back to the way things were, discussing problems and issues in our town halls. The power that has been taken from our hands is unbelievable and we've been filled with all this entertainment and all this, all these different devices that, that turn us away, that stop us learning and stop us enlightening ourselves and realising the power that we have when we are together and when we are together we are powerful and I'm not talking about walking on some march here I'm talking about in our own communities now there's a lot of talk I've been invited to a couple of meetings in this come down to a meeting we'll all get together we're discussing what we're going to do through the winter and all these kind of things and it made me realise how different we are. Because we are the ones that matter in this. And we, people say we need leaders, we need people to lead us, we need people to lead us. You have been programmed to think these people. You are the leader in this story. People come up with great ideas and show them online. And or help and support individually. And some people are collectively in small groups. You know what I mean? I met some amazing people in this. You know what I mean? Amazing people. People understand the Magna Carta inside out, common law inside out. You know what I mean? There's you know, there's, there's there's hundreds of different people. We're all different different gifts now I'm asking my people to get out there and raw think about what can be done you have to Prepare for every single outcome. The worst possible outcome. Violence on the streets. Getting your family to safety. Having the protection you need. To the best possible outcome. That the lawful and legal enterprise in this can overcome it. And when I say prepare for the best possible outcome, I'm talking about never ever letting us get in a situation like this again, where we remove our reliance on the system. I'm talking about exploring the, the free energy systems what are out there. The collecting of water, the growing of his own food, to give a fuck you to the supermarkets and all the other things what they've put in place to make us feel like we need them. Learning the holistic side and the, the, the plants that are our medicine. And the most important thing which, which has been programmed in us from programs like Cribs, where the big houses with big fences and, and lock out your neighbour and this is what I've got, this is what I've got. The idea that as a community we share and we have each other's backs. So I need to tell my people that we now wake up our communities, ourselves, in and about our communities, and we do whatever needs to be done. And the whole thing that we need to do first is outreach. Outreach. All the serving of the notices and everything, we carry on this. The lawful side. Let them know that we the people are coming. But first thing we need to do, on the step by step this, is outreach. This is so important. So fucking important. Now, 
I believe the light paper. Truly believe this. And letterboxes is the way. I mean, I spent, uh, I've delivered Oracle films on CDs. On DVDs. Delivered leaflets. The wife delivered all sorts. My daughter's left cards in supermarkets. But we need to start reaching out en masse. And the light paper, I believe, is a great way to do it. I've seen other things similar to this. But I believe it's the way. I believe the light paper is our paper. And we should call it our paper. Now, I came up with an idea that on the bottom of the light paper, you have an email as a stand in the park, whatever it is you are part of as a group. But on every single light paper, you would just write an email on the bottom or a positive message. Do it in stages. I said this in the Halifax meeting on Thursday, yesterday. That you put some of through people's letterboxes on the light paper, right on the bottom. Set up an email address on Proton Mail. If you know something's not quite right, send an email to this. Now, what that email will do is it'll protect you. And how it'll protect you is you'll be able to weed out the people who were too programmed. You'll get emails saying, don't post this through my fucking lab box. Stop with this fucking shit. I don't want this through my letterbox. box. My fucking great, 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 great grandma died from this virus. Fuck off. For every 10 offensive emails, if you get them, you might get one person. That one person, then you do, you invite them to, you group the one person, yeah, I know something's not right, what is it? And then put them on a channel. Give them your favorite Telegram channel, whatever that may be. Tell them where your meet is, where you, where you, where you go and you decide what jobs you're doing next. Now, every single thing you do, with these meets that happen, where if it's, it's, if it's, whatever it is, it has to have an objective. What are we gonna do? The objective is, has to be, to wake up the masses to the corruption down in that fucking parliament. And in our very councils in our towns, which is what I'm coming on to next. We have to now, get into these council buildings en masse. We have to start badgering the fucking life out of these people. Know and find out who your local MP is, who your councillors are, who's making these decisions because they have made, have, have made it so we all work all hours God sent through day and night that we don't have chance as a people to have a say what the fuck goes off in our communities, in our towns, and this is what the end goal has to be. The end goal that we have has to be these council buildings. We take back the buildings that are rightfully ours, the criminally converted, and from that moment we make the right change in the schools, in the hospitals, everywhere. And we only do that by being in our communities, we have to be upstanding, we have to be outstanding, we have to be outspoken. And it starts with outreach. Outreach. And our outreach, because we don't control the pumping out whatever goes on the TV and everywhere else, it has to be through the letterbox. Here's another idea I'm going to put out there. We could, we could, we could create something called uh, Did You Know? Did You Know, we'll call it. And you'll go in your maps, your, your Google Maps. I know it's the enemy. 
go into Google Maps and just type in a number, 22. Number one. And what should come up is addresses, own addresses in your area. Well, why not just print some out? Print something out. Whatever it may be. Whatever means something to you that you think is a shot at waking people up. And post 10 letters in your letterbox to random addresses. As random as they can be. I'm going to do this this week. Don't know what I'm going to print out yet. Could it be regarding sex education in schools? Could it be regarding the symbology of the, whatever it is to you but these are the things that we need to do we have to be in our communities and build what needs to be built and what needs to be built is we're in order to protect us the only way we protect ourselves is by waking up the fucking sleeping lions and lionesses around us. This is my conclusion in this. There's too many people out there that don't even know we exist. I still have in conversation with people that I've never heard of the MHRA yellow card system. They won't go on Telegram because they think, think because it's encrypted and 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 secretive and, and no one's meant to know that they think it's it's dark it's too dark so they're not even on the likes of telegram the facebook's and the whatsapps and everything else are already censored to death we have to reach out and some of you might be thinking well i i'm not okay i can't deliver papers i can't do this i can't do that i'm telling you you need to do it you need to walk into every shop your local news agents, these kind of shifts, you get into these places. Now I'm going to attach a, a couple links to this. People need to realise. We have to stay steps ahead of the government. And I got given a document last night, which, uh, I've, got, which I've got the missus typing up now so I can put it, attach it to a link. And it's basically to give to shopkeepers, reminding them of the law. The data protect the, well, it's an act of statute, like their legalese bollocks. But in their world, it is true. But reminding them of the the data protection act and all these other things, if they require asking people to provide a vaccine passport and and, and to enter their shops. Now the government are, are counteracting every move. Is this death of an MP a black flag event? Who knows. Do they ever let a good crisis go to waste? No. They know that we're starting to crack on and wise onto their, their their ways. Do they want to try and isolate and, and put a ring fence around their MPs to stop them getting what they're meant to do? To stop them asking the questions of the people? Once enough of us wake up, they won't be here no more. We will remove them. It's a race against time. Build the communities in your area. And I know a lot of you are. Get active. Learn common law. Learn it. Understand it. Learn the chronology of what it is that's happened to us. How all our buildings that our that our grandparents and great grandparents and great grandparents have paid for and had stolen off them by this corrupt, corrupt paedophilic fucking government that they are. Maybe not all of them. But the majority. We need to keep talking to the police at every opportunity we get. Serve these notices. The thing I'm going to attach to this is basically a document and it's a certain to, to serve 
supermarkets and food stores and all this to keep them open while we find ourselves, while we learn a way to get off the system. Do not follow fucking idiots off a cliff. Stand up for yourself and who you are and the people who are around you. Stand up. No matter what country you are in, it is time to stand up. Do not lie down. And a couple of us who have made the connections will do our damnedest to make sure that we are all together in the end. If you guys have got money and, and means and connections, use them. Get things in place. Talk to food suppliers and this and get this information out there. Go to farms and get 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 farmers see if they'll give us up some land so we can so we can farm ourselves it sweat for sweat i'll help in a farm for sweat for food we are the resource we are the currency there's a lot more to us than a fucking video game and a pint of lager. Once we build what we need to build in our communities and then we turn as eyes onto the councils, we take back our towns. Fresh enthusiasm and love for each other. But we need to wake people up first. Like I said, the videos from me are gonna stop. Maybe not the action, but me addressing you guys like this is gonna stop. And I'm asking you, begging each and every one of you, Get prepared. Get the addresses of each other. Buy atlases, atlases and road atlases of the full area you are in. Again, whatever country you are in. Learn about communicating offline with arm radios and CB radios and other methods of communication. Try and get less dependent on the system. Learn about free energies and cleaning water and all these other mad stuff and maybe removing the gas fires and get coal fires in all or for every endeavor. Buy books on everything. Get them out and get them bought. The reason why these fuckers are turning everything digital is so that eventually they can delete and control whatever it is we know. Buy the books. Get offline. Learn how to navigate the roads using map the old way. Even go, I said this in the Halifax, even go on, on Google. Get the directions and print out the written directions. You need to know how to move a field. You need points where you can get to places. Stock up on various items, whatever you think you need. Learn it. We will win when we, the people, come together. Stop waiting for leaders. You are the superhero in this story. Got a lot of time for every one of you in this. All of you. Feel it in your gut what's right and what's wrong. And own it. 
try and turn off these systems, these internets and whatnot. Enjoy the time you have with your families. Love them and cherish every single moment. Do not divide. Try and keep strong despite what shit gets thrown your way. Try and keep a door open for the police force as hard as what that may be with some of the things that they've done. Let's keep communicating. Let's stay one step ahead of the government. Keep serving these notices. Keep learning common law. Keep building, keep building, keep building. And we will win this. The times for marching through streets it's all well and good as long as you've got your home in order. If you haven't got your home in order, then stop. The target has to be to take back what's ours. Our local councils are ours. Our schools are ours. The hospitals are ours. The town hall meetings belong to us, the people. The sooner we learn everything we need, then we win. Outreach, 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 outreach. We win this through a letterbox. So let's get onto these fucking letterboxes and see what we can do. Good luck to each and every one of you. I love and care about each and every one of you in this. We can do this together. Shoulder to shoulder, we are. So fucking raw, will you? Like a fucking wild animal, raw. And every opportunity, we spread our truth, which is the truth. We, the people, our truth. Become shepherds. See you soon. And thank you. See you later, guys. Good luck.